Welcome back to Good Day Columbia, everyone. Freddie Clairvaux here at the Taps Art Center in downtown Columbia for this week's edition of Watch Faith Grow. I'm standing here with Davion, a local artist. Good morning, Davion. Good morning, sir. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank, Thank you for you. allowing us to interview you this morning. And we're here for a Watch Faith Grow segment because we're talking about you as an artist, but your paintings different from the traditional type of art. Talk to us about that. Um, my paintings are scripturally inspired and I don't label them as Christian art because from the time you hear Christian art, you automatically have in your mind what it's supposed to look like. So okay. I like to say my work is God inspired. And the reason I do that is because I like to portray God as out of the box, right. you know? Um, most Christian art, I would say, is more King James version. Okay. While my representation of God and scriptures is more like the amplified version, more avant-garde, more up to date and modern. So what inspired you to take this type of twist in your art? This is just the kind of person I am. I always like to be ahead of the curve. Okay. What can folks expect when they come down to the taps to see your displays? They can expect something very, very interesting, new and unique. Uh, don't look for your grandmother's version of Christian art. Look for something that is going to blow your mind. This painting is called No Retreat. It's inspired by Matthew 16, 18 where Jesus said, upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. So we see here someone who has their face raised more so like a, a rallying cry. And um, the fire that represents the anointing, the Holy Ghost. So basically it's a, how should I say, it's a declaration for saints to be steadfast, to be immovable. Um, the colors beneath always affect the colors above. So purple, I like to use purple because purple is representative of royalty. Like in biblical times, purple is a very expensive color to have and only wealthy people would have purple. So the purple is representative of royalty and the silver, because there's many scriptures on silver being righteous. So the silver represents righteousness. So I have the righteousness overlaying the royalty, which is who we are, our identity in Christ. I'm more happy that people are being ministered to the work as opposed to me making sales because at the end of the day my primary goal for doing this is not money i just want people to know the real god get a true experience and revelation of god wow well thank you so much for spending your morning with us thank this morning you. we thank really do appreciate me. that absolutely some great artwork here at the taps art center make sure you come on down and see it for yourself i'm Freddie clairvaux there's more good day coming up after this <laughs>